Hello friends. Regarding a question that was asked in the Fricked Telegram group in Spanish, well, I'm going to present a solution here and I'm also going to take the opportunity to show part of a work diagram that may be useful to you. So, what we're going to do is a pipe where the straight sections of the pipe are not necessarily on the same plane. Let's hide this and get started. First, what I did was go to the workbench, the sketcher, and there I created Croquis Master. First, let's place it on the XY plane. And we're going to create a rectangle. Here I have the first one, it's there. So, notice that if I click AC, notice where the origin of the coordinate system is, I'm going to use this segment and this end. And with that I'm going to create another sketch normal to that segment and that segment. So, well, there I'm going to create a couple of rectangles, one here, for example, and another over there. It's there. Let's create it there. Done. And now I'm going to create another one here. So let's go ahead and select. Let's cut this one, select this segment and this point. And here we create another sketch normal to that segment. There you go. And here again I'm going to do it like this, like I told you. But anyway, this is something arbitrary that just occurred to me. I'm going to use these segments to support me in the design that I'm going to do. So here and here are the three master sketches that I'm going to use. Let's call this master XY here master XY. I'm going to call this 1XC, Master XC and this Master YZ. Okay. Well, I already have here what I need first in this regard. Let's add a group here. Let's call this group Masters and here I'm going to place those perquis. This way of organizing my document. Now I'm going to go to the draft workbench. We can do it here, although I have some macros here. I'm going to draft and I'm going to create a polyline. But before creating the polyline, I'm going to make sure that only the tool is selected and, above all, that this one isn't there so that it doesn't do things that it doesn't want. Only the endpoints are selected. And now I'm going to select my polyline and I'm going to use the endpoints. Yes, as a guide, I'm going to start here. I'm coming here, from here, for example, to here. Here I'm coming here. And here it's going to be an arbitrary path. Uh, here. And I'm not going to do much more. Up to here, up to here it's fine. And now I tell it to close and there I have my path. Notice that none of those segments are on the same plane. Okay? So now I'm hiding the master sketch and I'm left with this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is degrade this part. Of degree. Notice that here this had as a guide what was in the sketches and that's why it gives this message and now I'm degrading it to obtain the segments that I'm going to use. So I'm going to do two fillets in the recording and the rest I'll do off record. So I'm going to start here. I'll place this. I'll select this, I'll select this and tell it to apply a fillet, maybe with 50 to erase the original object. We're going to degrade this part and get more segments. So, I'll continue, I'll come over here, I'll come over here and notice that this angle is more acute, so that the 50 will make the segments end up like this. And I tell it to do another fillet, I'm going to keep it here at 50. And notice how it's cut that off. I'm going to continue with this. Every time we have the fillet, we degrade. Okay, here's my 3D stroke curve. And now what I'm going to do is select all of those segments and I'm going to update them into a single wireframe. There it is. Okay, now what I'm going to do is the following. Since I want a tube, I'm going to create a circumference, but I'm not going to create it using this, but rather in the sketcher. 
I can go to the sketcher. Well, I'm going to select this here and this here, the end. And now I'm going to tell it to create a sketch normal to the segment. There it is. And remember that the radius of curvature of these fillets is 50. And so I'm going to do this here. I'm not going to go to 50 because that would cause a little problem. I'll leave it at 50 and there I have it. Okay. So I have my path and I have my profile. Let's rename this. Give it a path and here we're going to give it a profile. Okay. And we're going to organize this as well. Now I'm going to come over here. Let's rename this. I'm going to call this something like tubes. Okay. And now I'm going to place this and this here. Well, from here, well, what I want to do is make the pipe and I'm going to do this. One solution in part and another solution in part design. So, I come to part in this part, this profile, I'm going to hide it. Okay. Let's see what we hide this for and I tell it to sweep here and use the profile. Yes, the profile I used is the sketch that I called profile and the path. Yes, I mean, all this with shift E uh, I can select this whole part at once and I tell it done and then I tell it OK and here I have it. OK? The only thing is, well, let's move something because this is a surface. Let's correct it here so that this is, uh, something solid. OK? And then there I have this part. We can hide this. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, create thickness. So, I select this, control, I select this and now I tell it to create a thickness and this is the tool. And there I have my pipe. Let's place that. Since that's 50, I could place 10 here, okay? Or 5, maybe that's better. There it is, there's the pipe. And that's it. Okay, let's do the same thing, but now with par design. So, I'm going to par design, hide this, create a body, and now I'm going to create a pair of subsplay binders, the path, the profile, and the trajectory. So, I'm coming over here, profile. I'm going to tell this profile not to form a face and also to create an offset. Here we're going to tell it that I created an offset of, I think it was without, Yes, it was 5 that I placed there and to fill the offset. Here it is. Okay, there we have it. That's on one side, and now I'm also going to make another subs binder for the path. And now I have it. This is the path, the trajectory that it's going to follow. And now, well, what I'm going to do is select in the 3D view. I'm going to select this part here and control. I select here and tell it to do the additive sweep, and there I have it. OK, and now I'm going to click OK, and here I have, we're going to hide here and here. And here I have the pipe made this time in par design. We can place the one that is shared here, and notice that it matches. And well, that's what I wanted to show you. You know, if you like this, I invite you to give it a like. Yes, if you haven't subscribed, of course, subscribe and hit the bell for the next video. And well, all I have left is to ah, any comment will also be welcome. Well, here we are. Greetings then and I'll see you in a next video. Bye.